Okay, my name is Shannon Haddock and I am a fiction specialist here at the Hoover Library. And for October, I'm trying to pick uh, reads that go with the theme of Halloween, haunted mansions, ghosts, and creepy things like that. Today's book is The Distant Hours by Kate Morton. Not a typical creepy, creepy read, but it is a haunting tale. Um, in 1992, Edie uh, get, receives a letter dated 1941 to her mother. Uh, at that time, her mother was a young girl, 12 or 13, who was evacuated from the city to the countryside to Middlehurst Castle in Kent. There she is um, raised but with the sisters Blythe, who uh, are three sisters that today live in the castle, crumbling around them. And Edie goes to the castle to learn more about her mother's past and hopefully gather some answers because she and her mother are um, kind of at odds with each other and she's trying to reconcile. But this letter devastates her mother, so she mu Edie must follow and uh, try and answer some of the questions. And uh, the book jacket says, you know, things that happened in the distant hour are just waiting for someone to find the secrets within. Um, a very character-driven, but again, the Middlehurst Castle is a character in and of itself. Uh, there's ghosts, there's mysteries, there's a missing fiance, and it, it just goes on and on. Um, the dual narrative of, of the past and the present come together. And uh, as the book, at the book jacket also says that it, the reader will be shocked by the finale. Um, I remember um, loving this book. It was published in 2010. But uh, I know that you will enjoy it. Pretty much any book by Kate Morton is great. But uh, The Distant Hours kind of goes along with our theme of haunting, haunted houses. Um, it is available at the library, and I hope you'll choose to read it. Thanks.